Huh, a bunch of white stuff. A bunch of white stuff coming down out of the sky. Or some white stuff. Huh. Oh. Not what I want. Good morning. You don't want to say hi, do you? Good morning. Uh, yep. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you. And good morning, you. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Wednesday, November 6th. And uh, how is everybody today? Um, I hope the weather is not snowing where you're at. But here it's snowing out just a little bit outside and it's uh, oh, a little colder out today than it was yesterday morning. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm milking the cows here alone right now at the moment. Uh, my brother is feeding um, the new calf that was born this morning. Um, yeah, Daisy. Daisy had a calf, her calf this morning. It was a nice heifer calf. And so Daisy's, yep, this is her second calf that she's had. This will be her second lactation. So, um, yeah, so he's doing that. And then when he, he gets done feeding that calf, he's gonna go out to the cow's lot out there and haul a little bit of manure. We need to clean a little manure out of the cow's lot because it's getting built up out there again. And we just want to get someone to clean up before it freezes down because the high today is only supposed to be in the 20s. So it's not even going to get above freezing today. So, um, just like it, it's going to warm up here again starting tomorrow. It'll start warming back up again a little bit, but then it's going to cool down again. So anyways, I'm just uh, milking here solo. Probably, I'll probably actually finish up milking once the cow's alone here. But um, yeah, so anyway, that's what's going on. We had a new calf this morning. And, and what else are we gonna do here today? Today we're probably gonna try and, uh, we gotta grind a batch of feed for the cows so we can get some corn cleaned out of that grain bin. So that way my cousin could uh, he get his corn in there and get it dried down and uh, get that done. And I still gotta finish up the combine yet. Got a little bit left to finish on there. I guess I told you that um, yesterday's video or last night. So, um, and I guess we'll just see what else comes about here today. So, um, just a lot of stuff to do and to get ready for winter. And no, if people are wondering, no, we have not had the barn whitewashed yet. We need to get the cobwebs blown out and the barn needs to get whitewashed. Um, I haven't heard anything back from the guy that does it yet. Uh, part of the problem is he, he, he's, he's a dairy farmer himself and he has to get somebody to come in and help him with um, doing chores. So like when he's gone, like in the evenings, it's usually he doesn't always get back in time for the evenings to do the milking. So we're like his fullest away clients. And you know, normally most people that he does is closer by so he can he can do it and still get back in time for milking. So, but uh, hopefully he'll come here pretty soon to get the barn whitewashed. You know, it'd be nice to get it done before uh, we gotta start, before we gotta start leaving the cows in all the time before it starts getting too cold out. So. Anyway, so that's what's happening. Okay, my brother was, he got done hauling manure here, or uh, what he needed to do. 
he had to go do something else here for a little bit so I'm gonna take and uh, scrape this bucket out and then get going with the feeding chores but we just needed to clean some manure by that one feed bunk it was just getting really built up it doesn't help we've had so much moisture this uh, this fall hasn't helped anything so so I gotta get this bucket scraped out and then I can get going with the feeding chores then we gotta go clean clean out the grain bin and grind a batch of feed clean out the grain bin so that way my cousin could get his corn in there he just came over I don't know if you saw him, but he came over with his tractor to get a couple of our some of our gravity boxes yeah he's gonna use some of our gravity boxes well matter of fact he's gonna use them all except for one I guess we're not using them but uh, yeah and then in order to grind the batch of feed though I need to wait for my one of my other cousin who's borrowing a tractor or one tractor do a job for his nephew so as soon as he gets back with that then we can grind the batch of feed everybody's borrowing our stuff <laughs> uh, yeah uh, I'm not going to go into details about all that, but uh, but uh, yeah, so I got to get this job done anyways. Well, you guys will never guess what we finally got this pot or, or this big whatever you want to call it a big old hole filled in here yesterday all filled in with a bunch of crushed crushed rock so no more mud hole so that mud hole problem is solved so that's a good thing get that track started up for a brother he's got to take a load of manure out yet I still got to let the cows out here I think we're gonna leave them in tonight but we got some manure cleaned up out here but like I said, I'm just out here feeding them right now and we need to get that out of there and uh, needs to get warming up because everything's kind of coldish like today in the combine here I just got it started up probably about I don't know 20 minutes ago for letting it warm up so that way I need to lower the throat down here so that way I can work on it get the stuff set on here that needs to get set and um, yeah so I'm gonna work on my on the throat on this combine while I wait for my cousin He's supposed to be bringing our 8670 back here pretty soon so we could use that. Okay, um, I guess how to do this, just gotta, I gotta adjust the drum, to how to adjust the drum up, if I get my words said right, is right there. So I gotta adjust that up and then they do the smooth roll, or the smooth roll, <laughs> the stone injection roller. Gotta take 
I think there's what, six bolts we gotta take loose, or nuts. And then, yeah, where's that thing? Well, it's behind, oh, right there. There's a thing behind there I gotta take loose. Then I gotta suck it up. The stone ejection roller is right underneath this cover right here. And then I gotta slow this down. I gotta make it so this thing, the belt comes out further on here and that will slow the throat down. So we gotta do that. That I could do inside the cab. So, but yeah. So I'm gonna work on this and uh, then I am, well, by then my cousin should be back over here so we can grind feed and then, then we gotta get the auger set up and get the rest of the corn out of there and put it on one, put it on a, a gravity box and uh, then the bin will be clean and yeah. So that's what we're gonna be working on or I'm gonna at least try to get this done. I wanna get this combine buttoned up and uh, or just at least get it so it's all ready for corn. Now I got a little change of plans here. Um, we gotta move this rock pile out of the way because if I can turn here, it's in the way. It's in the way of the bin. There, we need to set the auger up, or we, we need to have it out of the way so we can get corn out of that bin. So that way, um, we can put my cousin's corn in there. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get that rock pile and go around the farm and filling in little potholes and yes that's what we're gonna do so then we're gonna get the corn out of the bin so a little bit of change of plans Cousin obviously brought the 8670 back here, and uh, so I'm gonna hook up to the grain auger. And I think, oh crap, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to move the swing the auger to the other side. I hate that. I ain't doing that job, but I gotta move it to the other side so we can unload out of the bin. That's what I got to do, so I'm going to get that thing swung around and then uh, get it down there by the grain bin. And then I don't know if you can see this or not, you probably can't, but there's a gravity box right over there. You probably can't see it, it's too dark, but there's a gravity box over there. So.
I think it's about all we can fit in that gravity box. Or all we probably should put on there. What's oh boy. What's left in here we should fit in the feed grinder. Every everything should fit in there. So oh, that's what we'll do. Well, let's grind the rest of the corn out of there and we'll have to take this auger out of here so we can do that but i think it'll work so. anyways i'll work at that and i'll check back in with you guys Okay, I think we're just gonna wait till tomorrow to grind that batch feed. It's like after seven o'clock, I don't know, 20 after seven. I need, to eat, I need to eat something yet. We need to feed in the barn because we're gonna have to leave the cows in tonight. We'll let them back out tomorrow. But uh, at least this thing is hooked up, ready to go for tomorrow. So I'll finish cleaning out that bin in the morning. Maybe in the morning, maybe early afternoon, we'll see. And um, then we'll get the auger set up. And my cousin, he took all the, um, he's my one cousin, he lives two miles down the road. Anyways, he took all the gravity boxes, of course, up for that one. That one we don't take down the road because the running gear isn't very good for road distance travel. And yeah, I guess I'll show you how much corn we got on here. Yeah, so. Um, we'll do that tomorrow, get it all done, get that corn in there of his and get it drying down. That's supposed to start warming back up again, so I don't know what the temperature is right now. It's like, hmm, it's something. Where is my weather app? I don't know, I think it's like 19 degrees, 18 degrees out. Feels colder than that. 18 degrees Fahrenheit, anyways. So anyways, I gotta go grab something to eat. We'll see what all happens tomorrow. I don't think we're supposed to get any blizzard, thankfully, tomorrow. Or the next day or the day after that, I hope. <laughs> so, anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, check me on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and like I say, please, Hit that subscribe button. It help or not that sub well, hit that subscribe button, yeah. And also hit that like button. It really helps me out. And um, that's all I've got for today. So have a good night. Take care, and I will catch you later. <laughs>